In this video, I'm going to show you in an inexpensive solution to the high cost of these can filter caps by using the W8AOR 3-in-1 multi cap. So I'm going to start with the main filter cap. This is a three section cap, 30, 10, 10 at 450 volts. I'm going to replace it with one of these W8AOR 3-in-1 cap kits which allows you to use standard radio mounts and save quite a bit of money. So to make changing filter caps easier, I always just come in here, cut the terminals off, raise the wires, and leave yourself a road map how it was originally connected. Alright, I've removed the old filter cap, but to put in the base of the new 3-in-1 cap, this hole is going to have to be punched to allow clearance of the turrets. So for that task, I'd recommend using a 1 and 1 8 inch Greenlee punch. That will open the hole up plenty for the mounting of the new cap. So as you can see, the punch will nest right in to the slots of the old filter cap mount. And you don't have to interrupt the wires. So now we're ready to operate the punch. You see I've removed the tubes, but you got this fragile IF can right next to the punch. So I would recommend that you use a socket rather than a crescent wrench so you can make sure to avoid damaging other components. Well there's a new mounting hole. Now I need to drill the mounting holes for the new 3-in-1 base and then we're ready to put the caps on. Alright we're good to go. Got the mounting holes for the plate. Now I need to assemble, mount the radio caps and get her wired. Alright, there's a new filter cap in place. I made sure to put the main 33 microfarad cap facing the 5Y3 rectifier. Let's take a look underneath. Well, here's the bottom of the filter cap assembly. I elected not to use the center turret. I just ran a ground jumper so I have a good bond to chassis. Now it's time to swing the wires on the turrets and get her going. As a precaution before you wire, you should check all three the positive sides of those caps and make sure none of them shorted to ground in the process. All wired up, ready to go. This completes the installation of the W8 AOR economical filter cap.